Hey everybody, I've got some Stadia news for you today. Before we get started, I do want to say thank you to Anthony Talcott for sending me this uh, power support claw. This is the Google um, claw that hooks up to your Stadia controller and you can put your phone into it. I tried to buy one when the uh, when the iOS um, availability, I guess is the word that I'm looking for, came out. And I wasn't able to find one, and I was complaining about it on the show, and Anthony said, give me your address, I'm sending one to you. And he did, so thank you very much, Anthony, for that. Let's talk about not playing on a phone. Let's talk instead about playing on a TV. Specifically, playing on a TV without a Chromecast. What? What are you talking about, Bill? You can't currently do that. Well, you're right, you can't, but soon you're going to be able to. I don't know if you guys are aware or not, but today they are having, well, this week they're having like a virtual CES or consumer, uh, consumer electronics show. And as part of the virtual CES today, LG announced that in 2021, some of their TVs will support using Google Stadia and GeForce Now natively. So that means you won't have to buy a Google TV. You won't have to buy a Chromecast Ultra. So now you're going to be able to take a controller that you already own, hook it up to your TV via Bluetooth, and be able to play next generation games right on your TV without having to spend $500 for an Xbox Series X or a PS5, without having to buy a Chromecast Ultra with the Stadia controller for, I think, what it was it $99 at this point? And without having to buy the NVIDIA Shield TV for, I think the Shield TV Pro goes for $200. That adds a lot of value to a TV. And I think that this is a pretty exciting announcement. So let's talk about why I think that this is such a big deal. I mean, obviously, it's it's a great value for the people who buy those LG TVs. But why is it a big deal for Stadia or GeForce Now or any other cloud gaming uh, partner that might come along later? Well, you have to th remember it this way. There's a lot of people out there who buy a TV and then they just use the stock UI instead of getting an external device to hook up to their, dev to their TV. There's way more of people who do that than go out and buy a Roku or an Apple TV, or an Amazon Fire Stick, or a Chromecast Ultra, or a Google TV. Like, there's a lot of people, and I would say probably the majority of people, who just use the default smart TV experience. And I, I say smart with quotes because generally it's a pretty awful experience. They tend to be kind of underpowered. The UI is really slow and sluggish. And it's not a great experience. Of course, once you start watching a show, it doesn't really matter. And once you start playing a game, I don't think it's really going to matter. It'll be not a great experience tabbing through the menus. But once you launch that game, it's just like watching a TV show and it's going to be fine. I think that this could help grow the base of new customers and introduce them to cloud gaming. There's a, there's most people have no idea what cloud gaming is and they're going to turn on their new TVs that they buy and they're going to look around in the menu and they're going to see Stadia, GeForce Now, what are those things? Well, those things let you play video games. They're going to click on that and they'll see Cyberpunk 2077. I heard a lot of people talking about that on YouTube or I saw a commercial for that. I think that's the new Keanu Reeves movie. And then they're going to click on that and maybe they'll see a preview for it. And they'll be like, oh, okay, well, it's a video game. And I can play it on my TV? Well, why would I bother to buy an Xbox? Why would I bother to buy a PlayStation? I can't think of a good reason. So I'm not going to. I'm just going to play these games on here. This is going to be a really good way to expand the cloud gaming market because there's going to be so many new users who have never tried cloud gaming before. Now, if I were in charge at Google, I would make absolutely sure that there was a button somewhere in the default UI for Stadia on the LG TVs where I can just hit a button with my remote. And next thing I know, I get charged 60 bucks and a or 70 bucks. I think it's 70 bucks. And a brand new controller shows up at my house a couple of days later. 
there's going to be a lot of people who buy this, uh, these TVs, and they might not have a controller that would work with uh, their TV. Like maybe they only have old Xbox 360 controllers, or maybe they have uh, non-Bluetooth controllers that are laying around the house, and they don't have any way to hook them up to the TV. You got to give people an easy way to buy a controller, and you could easily say, works best with Google Stadia controller. Click this button, and you know what? This controller even comes with two free months of Pro or something like that. Uh, whatever it is that you can do to get the controller into people's hands, because as soon as they have a piece of hardware, and I'll note, I know it's it, $70 is expensive for a controller, but when you're talking about video game hardware, the buy-in at 70 bucks is really, really low. I think that that's going to convince a lot of people how awesome Stadia is. Now, I do think that at the end of the day, when you've got Stadia and GeForce Now both on these LG TVs and sitting side by side, and people are going to try both of them, I'm sure, Stadia is going to come out on top in that comparison. Why? Because we're talking about people who generally are casual gamers or not super interested in gaming. I'm not talking about people who already know about Stadia. I'm not talking about people who already know about GeForce Now. I'm talking about people who just bought a TV because they needed a new TV. And it turns out that it can also play some really good games. Those people are going to look at this game or at these games and Stadia is going to be it works super easily. All the games are supported by controller. You don't have to have a keyboard and mouse for anything. You don't have to sign in a thousand times. You don't have to wait for things to patch and then guess at which window to click on. It just works. And that's really the beauty of Stadia over GeForce Now, in my opinion. Yeah, GeForce may have um, ray tracing, but Stadia has ease of use. And I will take ease of use, as will most people, I think, a thousand times over ray tracing. Will this also be a firmware update to existing TVs? So let's say that you bought a new TV in 2020. Can you update that TV in order to have the new firmware to do this? Because uh, let's be honest, it's not a hardware thing that's going into these TVs and suddenly making them, making it possible for them to do this. It's just a video stream coming. Now, Maybe I'm wrong about this. Maybe it requires a chip that has the VP9 codec in it. I don't know. But I'm very interested to see how uh, how uh, LG will handle allowing people to update their TVs in order to get access to this. My next question is, what about Roku? When are we going to get Roku and Apple TV and Android TV and, of course, Google TV? When are all of these different devices going to be able to be used for, uh, by consumers to play Stadia? Well, I think Roku is going to be later down the road. Um, Apple TV is going to be never. And Android TV and Google TV, those, those two will be, I'm guessing, in the first half of this year, probably both of them at the same time, because uh, Google TV is essentially Android TV anyway. And so really... Now we're looking at Roku. Oh, and Fire Stick. Fire Stick, I don't think it'll ever happen. Uh, so Apple and Fire Stick, you're not going to be playing on those. Uh, they have their own things that they want them to, that they want you to do. Uh, but Roku, I fully expect that we would see uh, being able to play these games on Roku uh, at some point in the future, hopefully this year. Uh, but there you go. What do you guys think about this news? Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, are you going to? Are you in the market for a for a new TV? And is this going to push you in that direction? If I can have one less thing plugged into my TV, then I'll probably do it. We'll see how good the UI is. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.